Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Exercise of C++ I hope that you guys are doing great So in today's video we are going to uh, create an array and the array will be uh, take the array will take the five integer from the users and it will display those five integer that were taken by the users so let's get started first on the video i request you guys to please subscribe my youtube channel exercise of c++ and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel exercises of c++ so let's get started so the first thing is that you have to open your compiler that is dev c++ after opening the compiler you have to create your new source file hash include io stream then hash include conio.h then using namespace std integer of the main function get ch so now we have created the source file and the project file but uh, now we have to create an array that must contain the five indexes so we can store uh, the five numbers into it so for that purpose we have to create the array first so int uh, the array will be named as number and we must have five okay now we are going to execute the for loop for int i is equal to zero i will be the first one i is less than or equal to four then we have to increment the i now we have to console output that please enter a number and after this one we have to take the number into the array number now uh, when the loop will be break uh, the loop will be break and then the array must show that what are the numbers that are located inside it so for that purpose for int i is equal to 0 i is less than or equal to 4 and i will be incremented by 1 now we have to write c out then we have to write number uh, numbers are right number and i and end l end line f11 save now you can see that it will take five numbers so you can see 33 44 11 55 and 22 so that's how you can create an array that can take the five integers from you and then the array will display the values of these integers so if you don't want to store the integers you can also go with the other data type so we can take characters as well please enter a character character so you have to change the array name from here uh, we will call it a vowel array of vowel vowel now please enter a vowel a ok we have to put some changes in it and we have to change the data type as well because we are going to store the characters a e i o and u then you can see a e i o and u these are the vowels that are being generated 
so that's all that's all from today's video i hope that you guys like the video and if you like the video then do subscribe my youtube channel exercises of c plus plus and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel exercises of c plus plus thank you